Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video I'm going to show you some of my favorite Android launchers for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. If you don't know what launchers are, you can consider them some sort of skins or themes for your phone that allow you to customize how most interface elements will look on your device. You can download them from Google Play and most of them are free. By default, the Note 3 comes with Android 4.3 skin with TouchWiz UI, Samsung's own take on Android. It has its pros and cons, but even if you like its design and how it performs, you should still watch the video and discover the customization options and the extras offered by these other launchers. The first thing I'm going to show you here is called Launcher 8, and it's a minimalistic skin that brings the lifestyle aspect of Windows Phone 8 devices on Android handsets. Apps and widgets are displayed in a single scrollable home screen, and you can swipe to the left and get an alphabetical list of all the applications installed. On the home screen, you can tweak the size of the tiles, you can add various Android widgets as tiles, and live tiles as well but you can also fix their color, transparency, padding and even add a wallpaper behind the tiles. All in all, this theme is meant to simplify your Android device and that's why I consider it an option for new Android users or for those who really enjoy the metro style of Windows Phone 8 OS. Next on my list we have Nova Launcher, which comes both in a free and a paid version and I believe is the fastest and the most reliable launcher of the moment. Basically, it allows you to change anything you might want to on your phone without any unnecessary flashiness that would slow down the performances. I won't get in depth here, but you should play with the settings and discover for yourself how to customize and tweak the home screens, the folders, widgets, dock tabs and the app drawer. You can also play with various effects and transitions. The paid version, Nova Prime, adds a couple of goodies including gestures, the ability to overlap apps and widgets, the ability to create tabs in your app drawer, support for global notifications and many others. Next on my list is the Apex Launcher, also available in two different options, free and paid. There are very few differences between Apex and Nova right now, and choosing one over the other is mainly a matter of personal preference. From my experience, Nova tends to be slightly faster than Apex, especially when it comes to animations. Apex allows all sorts of customization options as well, plus the ability to mix elements from different themes, but it doesn't offer as many gestures as Nova does. With the Apex Pro paid version, you're getting pretty much the same additions as with Nova Prime, including the configurable app drawer tabs, the overlapping or the docked widgets. All in all, both Nova and App6 are clean, simple and most of the time reliable launchers on Galaxy devices. They score great reviews with those who actually use them, so you should definitely give them a try. Besides this, I've also used Go Launcher for a while, but that was before switching for Nova and Apex. Go was very popular a few months ago and it's still a top launcher. It offers plenty of features and customization options, animations, transitions, gestures, you name it. It also offers a large selection of themes, icon sets and custom widgets. However, out of the box, Go Launcher looks overly cartoonish in my opinion and is full of doorways to certain apps and widgets that you would have to download from the market. And some of these are not free. By the way, Go Launcher has a premium version as well, which is only available in select countries. Anyway, to sum things up, these days I'm a Nova Launcher user. But TouchWiz on the Note 3 is not that bad either, not as sluggish as on most other Galaxy smartphones, thanks to this phone's sheer power. Still, if you do know any other good launchers or have anything to add or ask about what I said in this clip, just leave your comments below and I'll be around to reply. With that in mind, it's time to end this video. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, share it around, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for my next updates. I'll catch you later.